This is a positive stream. <laughs> so, can I get everyone in the chat to go, positive stream, positive stream. We're going to change the world, guys, We're gonna, and girls, and everyone in between. We're going to get this on, Ellen. Oh my god, there's a kid, there's a murder. Just let's get through tonight and then tomorrow is a new day in Cage City and everything is gonna be fine. So I found Johnny now early October and when I found his stream, I was actually like really engaged with it. I don't really know why um not to be offensive but he doesn't do a lot this is my next adventure what am i a model my journey part of what i enjoy about twitch is that you have this chance to really have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone i have no willpower but if you got him smoke him because the day's almost done you made it another monday but as the time went on Johnny was talking about how this was a self-help program. He's writing this book. A 30-day self-improvement program into the cage, freeing yourself from within. This is me being held accountable for the disgusting addictions I've accumulated over the last 10 years. I'm addicted to pop. I'm addicted to food, so much so that I eat till I throw up. And the end goal here, I'm writing a book. I'm gonna be doing a couple pages every day. It's called Into the Cage, Freeing Yourself Within. And it's, also, it's gonna be like, uh, my way of uh, spreading this message and uh, you know doing the book tour thing getting on Ellen you know stuff like that God, something about this doesn't feel right and so my friend Maxwell was doing his stream at the time so I went over there to see if he had seen it if he'd heard about it what his thoughts were just to get someone to bounce ideas off of at the stock numbers Konami lost money right like he caused that company damage okay well he doesn't have to call it Silent Hills something along the same thread yeah he could make a new is. no he can make a horror game for sure but he can't make anything in the silent hills johnny now stream no i haven't but i will i mean i'm watching it with no sound right now man i'm not entertained now, if people were pelting him with shit, that would be awesome. That's right! I live for this! I live for this! Come on! I have a I don't care! I don't give a fuck! Soda addiction. God damn. Nailed it. It's a, it's just a viral Coke ad. I'm calling it now. This is a viral, a viral coke ad. They saw what uh, Monster Energy accomplished with the Boomer meme, and they want in on that sweet money, on that v on that meme money. When Maxwell finally saw it, he seemed to have a similar idea about it that I did. That it, there doesn't seem to be a lot to it, but it also feels like there's something bigger behind it. And so Maxwell came up with this idea to start this alternate personality Johnny later. Welcome aboard my fantastic show. Where well, I attempt to gain social credit because I'm gonna be real with you people. My social credit is pretty fucked. Why don't do you want to introduce yourself? We'll uh, we can get into it and then. Well, I, I mean, I guess there's there's not a whole lot to say. I'm uh, I'm Maxwell Corgan. I you know I run a stream that's mainly primarily a talk show just about um, you know really being critical of any topic that I feel like talking about you know there's a lot there's been a lot of reformation of my thought about it just now like a week or so out from being so heavily involved in it where i'm kind of like you know he's not doing anything but he's good at it so <laughs> yeah well he does have moments of like oh wow that's actually entertaining or that was a fun moment but it's when well, he all his character is stripped away and things He's just like genuine for a half a second. I, I think I said it to him on the podcast, but I'm worried that he's just trading in this addiction for Coke. You're worried I'm gonna I'm addicted to the internet now, right? Well yeah, I think you've replaced an addiction for another. His his whole speech is 
that it's all about breaking his addiction to coke and snack food, but that doesn't that doesn't feel earnest. That doesn't feel honest. I gave myself a month to self improve, and I knew if uh, I was just gonna go to the, tell myself I was gonna go to the gym and eat better, I'd really just be. <laughs> He's getting so much attention, so much love, and that's gonna feel good, especially if you're lonely or if you're sad beforehand. Now you have. Yeah a consistent group of people coming in being like you got it you can do it you're the best yeah go 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 and you know giving you money and doing all this stuff the whole idea of well i'm bettering myself and i should be compensated for it is um really undercutting any any sort of message of self-improvement because you know you sh you really shouldn't be compensated for your self-improvement your self-improvement should be its own compensation you want to torture me? You want to subject me to some bullshit? Put your money where your mouth is. You know, I'm I'm equally shocked that he doesn't have more of a following. As much as I'm shocked that he hasn't been, you know, reported to the point where his channel's been suspended. Yeah. And the reason and the reason why is because you know, it's one thing to tell an adult as part of a you know again if this is legitimate as part of a you know, art piece or social commentary. Fine, that's no, fine. All artists are supposed to be subjective and I'm no artist, but... You know, to get in a cage. I mean, there are plenty of satirical takes on self-improvement. And if that's what this was, it's an incre it's incredible. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, the the very fact that, you know, it, it's, it's obvious that a lot of his audience is younger. It's obvious that a lot of his... Um, rhetoric is directed toward people who are susceptible to this kind of thing mm. um whether they're adults or not there's a, there there's an element of danger to that that i think he became aware of and i'm i'm pretty positive somebody told him to back off that rhetoric to me it's just like oh he's just just like he started it out plain and then people put weight on it and so he feels like he has to hold that weight up now and give it well he value. does yeah he definitely does <clears throat> and i mean part of it is you know if you look at it from just from a media perspective right of, yeah. of what are we looking what are we actually looking at when we watch his stream it's live it's basically one-to-one -one. you know there might be a slight delay but you're basically watching a live program of another human being who whether he's putting on a performance whether it's legitimate the, the content is the same. I think I've tapped out of every character I could come up with, every joke I've said, I've said one million times. Where did the idea of Johnny later come from? How did that come to be? That, the, the, the story as I'll tell it is he, you know, he was truly invented in the best place possible for him to be invented, which was around a dinner table with real people. And I think there was the obvious kind of pun of, you know, Johnny now and Johnny later, like the candy, you know, like now and later. Which is terrible candy. I mean, I think that's why, it, that's, it's really why it fits, man. Memes as usual. You know, in terms of the, the character and the design of all that, we did this thing for, we did this thing for, I think, four, four days, five days with a budget of maybe $50. And so, you know, we weren't sitting there, um, really thinking, what can we do that's unique and original in terms of a character design? We were pulling from everywhere. I mean, I pulled very heavily from uh, Filthy Frank and Joji. What was his message? What was your message for him, I guess? What were you trying to get across? You know, my message was, I want to be critical of what Johnny Now is doing. I want to provide criticism, but all my efforts to do that on a person-to-person -person level with him failed. You know, any time that I tried to meet him where he was at, that I tried to use humor, that I tried to use satire, that I tried to use, you know, compassion, that I tried to use anything. It never landed. And it never landed with anybody else in his chat. And, you know, my thought was if I could just show them somebody who has had to exist in a world where this is normal, it would maybe cause and I had no grand ambition here. I thought it would maybe cause like five people to stop and think about what was going on. Do you feel like it went too dark? I, you know, I talked about this with my wife and um, I'll tell you, man, I don't think we went dark enough. Yeah. Yeah. The moment that sticks out to me is when you had your wife spit in your face the six times. Mm -hmm. We got some 
some content to make. You want the first one right on my face, man? Come on, bring it on. Machine. Spit right in my dome. Oh, there it is. Come on, give me another. Come on, give me some. Come on, hit me with it. Um, well, when we were, when we were, I mean, minutes after saying, okay, we're going to do this, you know, I, I said it very clearly. I do, you cannot hold back. Like when I go in that room and I have the makeup on and I hit stream, uh, I am not, I am not myself. I am Johnny later. You can't, you can't hesitate. You can't, anything that happens, you have to go along with it because we are committing to this full stop. And with Johnny later, I, I always saw it as something that was pointing out like, hey, don't be lazy in making content. You're getting people's attention. Do something with it. Everything that got under his skin was a clear connection to his own laziness with his stream. Well, and it, and it, I mean, it was, it, it frankly was easy to do. How is he selling those t-shirts for so much less than me? Uh, we. We ran the numbers. We tried to keep ours as low as possible. And I, how is he doing that? He really hurt my brand there because people are like, wow, his shirts look better. Um, and he's got four cameras running. Like, how, I can I can barely get this one to work. Guy who doesn't really have a discernible skill for this, that, but he's built that skill. And that's an admission I'm freely willing to make. He's built plenty of skill over these 26 days so far of how to talk to an audience and how to at least hold attention even if he's not making good content and this mirror image of his character and that reflection alone would make them kind of have those cogs turn in their head of like man if this person if whoever's doing this can do this in a day why am i sitting here watching this guy who has all these people around him who are ostensibly very talented with graphic design very talented with marketing very talented with media you know, why can't they do this too? And now all the messages are deleted. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm getting depressed, guys. Why was it so important for Johnny later for Johnny now to write his own book? The only thing we have to do is make sure that he writes the book himself. Dreaming comes down to being authentic. And for Johnny now, I, I maintain this. I will maintain this until or whenever or if that book comes out that that is his last chance to legitimize all of it. I don't know if it's going to be 69 chapters. I mean, they're going to be really short chapters then, but we'll like, I just, I'm kind of joking around with that, but gotcha. I totally intend on writing the book. Yeah. I want it on the shelves by December. Or if a book comes out based on all this and it is very clearly not written by him, this was a cash grab, you know, whether it, whatever it was, it was a cash grab. And anybody that would buy and read that book would know it wasn't written by him and they would know that you know he is uh for the you know lack of a i don't want to use a negative term here but he's a salesman and he's and he's selling snake oil a self-improvement program designed to get you off that gunk that disgusting fast food that pop we're taking this to the moon my friends we're taking down big soda we're going on ellen and it, it's we're gonna change the world and you know, I think he could. I think he has an opportunity here to actually write a decent memoir about all this. You know, I think it could be. I honestly think if he could actually sit down and write about his experiences in his own words, it would reveal so much about what this was and why it was. Where I would, I would pay for that book. I would read it cover to cover because I want to know. Uh, you know, I, I mean, that's the, that's what this all boils down to. I want to know who told him this was a good idea. You know, if he had the same kind of situation where he's sitting around a dinner table with his family and the same way that I came up with Johnny later with my family, that he's got his, you know, his quote unquote sister or, you know, any, you know, his friends or whoever going, yeah, that's a really good idea. You should do that. I want to know about that because we don't know about that. We've never heard anything about that. Idea. You have small problems. Don't listen to it. In talking about his sister, and I know that that is, you know, that is a term that I'm going to have to use because that's what we're told she is. But yeah. I think that's open for debate. Do you believe it? I don't. I don't know why I would. You yeah. know. They're going to be shocked when it turns out you're my actual girlfriend. And. But the idea that 
whether that's his sister, whether they're friends, whether they're married or whatever, the idea that this person who knows this other human being intimately, and I, I can use the word intimately because she's, you know, taking care of his bathroom situation. As time goes away from this, I, I cannot wrap my head around that. You do not, you do not encourage that kind of um, scrutiny on somebody that you are supposed to love and protect when you know for a fact that only, only, you know, the only good that can come from this is hollow and is, um, you know, is ultimately something that is manufactured and the bad that can come from it is very real. Well, in your opinion, what do you think they're doing it for? My initial read was it was an advertisement and I don't really feel that. I don't really feel that anymore. Um, even though I wouldn't put it past an advertising company to do exactly this, yep. just to see what, you know, to test the waters, to see what the reaction would be. I don't care, how, I don't care who you are. If you turn 30 years old and you're, you're going to look back on your life and start to ask yourself, what the hell am I doing? If you don't feel like you're in a place where you want to be. And if this is real and this is legit, the reality is that this is a guy who craves attention, who thrives on attention, and who has been, you know, placated, who has been um, handed what he asks for forever and doesn't know how to not have it. Cage on stage, cage on stage, cage on stage. Come on, we're gonna impress new viewers. Cage on stage, cage on stage. And so I think they, do, I think that like, you know, the queen assistant, you know, I think that his friends that come over, I think they absolutely do care. And, and it's a situation where they probably care too much. You know, I think that he's probably not a, a huge jerk. He's probably not a bad time to be around. And as a result, you know, they don't feel like, oh, you know, forget this guy, he's a waste of my time, like they might feel about somebody who would be a little bit more off the deep end. But at the same time, they don't feel like they can just be like, you know, Johnny, you gotta be a little bit more realistic about what's available to you. Was well, there anything that you would want to communicate to Johnny now? <sighs> oh man. Um, I mean, I, I, I think that it's really hard to say because I don't even know who I'd be talking to. But in terms of what he's put up and then what I've seen of him, all I can say is write the book, man. Write the book, self-publish it, find a publisher, do what you got to do. But the people who have invested time, including myself, that we deserve answers. You know, if you, if you really care about the community that you've built, if you really care about the people that have invested hours of their time into supporting or criticizing or just in general kind of spreading around what you're doing my biggest thing is just write that book tell johnny now i'm coming on man i'm coming on so why am i doing this why am i making this video honestly I'm just still trying to process this whole thing. I'm trying to figure out why I was so engaged with it, why I wanted to understand it, why I thought the Johnny Later thing was so interesting, just all of it. And this was a way for me to try to piece everything together, try to organize my thoughts and get a good understanding of it. And what I've come to, the thing that I keep coming back to is, while everything seems weird and suspicious, and conspiracy-like, conspiracy-esque? I don't think it is. I think, I think Johnny is just doing something fun. He had some time, thought he'd do something weird, and it connected with people. People came back, people showed back up again. People supported him, people liked him, people engaged with him, and maybe that was something that he was missing. I don't know. You can't really hate on someone for that, right? I don't know. Maybe I put too much energy into this. Maybe I've thought about it too much. Maybe Johnny is right. You're like a nitpicker. I say that, are you a nitpicker?
Oh, shoot. I think he said nine. Oh, shoot. Can you focus on setting up the podcast because we're about to lose the crowd and if another war breaks out, the people of the streets will be on fire. Still got 15 minutes to wake up. Guess I'll, uh, you know what? Guess I'll, uh, you know what? Here's a little space here. You're right, I better uh, update the hierarchy. Clearly, somebody thinks that they are right here. Oh, guess you're right there, eh? Guess you're right there, I seen that. I thought, I thought you said eight. I think he said nine. Apologize, and I'm not mad at anyone, I seen it. Matt? Oh, I thought you said eight p.m. my time. I think he said nine. Not eight a.m. Thai time. See, I'm a dyslexic, my friend. I'm so glad that we can forgive each other.